Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. I'm your host, Young Slim. And I'm Kim. And we're doing another Game of Thrones, uh, I won't call it reaction, but recap. Recap. Yeah. Not recap. Well, recap yesterday's episode. I won't go over the details of yesterday's episode. What happened yesterday on Game of Thrones? Well, yesterday was kind of a slow episode, but, you know, I know you were like, oh, that was a wasted episode. They could have did so much more in that episode. But really, would you want them to do, jump right into the fighting? Uh, I wouldn't say I wanted to jump right into the fighting, but it was kind of, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it because I feel like, um, I feel like they should have, it, it could have been a little bit faster. It was so slow. It was so, um, I mean, I yeah, know. yeah, it was. I, what, what, the, what the hell was that? That was, I was trying to look to this and see how it looked in it. Oh. It had the sound come in, but oh. it's all good. I oh shit! All right, yeah, yeah, back to business. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I feel I feel like it, I feel like it was slow. It was slow, but I feel like it was like a necessary slowness. Um, a lot of these characters we've been part with for eight seasons are about to kick the bucket. So, do you think after yesterday's episode, I think uh, Brienne, Jamie, uh, well, whoever they were Norman basically Johnson, showing. Thing, Whoever they were Whoever basically they showing, focused on. focusing on, it felt like they're. It feels like it's gonna be like a long kiss goodnight, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't. Damn, man. I. I hope they don't kill Brienne, man. I hope. Why they, do they not made kill her a Brienne. knight? I think her her number is done. I think her. So number... Just gonna make her a knight just to kill her? Yeah. Like you really? think they made her a knight just to keep her? You're right. It, it's she's gone. Her and Patrick are done. Arya, Both of them. Arya lost her virginity. I think Gendry's going too. No, I don't think Gendry's going to die. I do. Because she's like, he said something to her like, oh, you said I should always come to Winterfell. It's a shame it was under these circumstances or something like that. And then uh, she was like, how many women have you slept with? Yeah. It was, that was, <laughs> One, two. It was, it was definitely awkward. Uh, it was definitely awkward. But I don't think. I don't but think, then she's basically mm-hmm. like. We're going to die, and I want to experience that before I die. I, I get it. I understand. I mean, I wouldn't want to die like that. I mean, if I ain't never smashed nothing before, you know what I mean? I get that. But I I do not think that they're going to kill. Ari's definitely not going to die. Nobody in the right mind believes that Ari's going to die in this show. I don't think so. I think Jamie. Or do you think Jamie's going to die when it comes to the Battle of Cersei? I, I, I don't know. At this point, I really don't know. I don't know if James gonna die. What do you think's gonna happen? I, I, I don't. I don't know. I just think that um, on my hit list right now of people that are gonna that are gonna die, it's definitely gonna be um, first and foremost, um, Grey Worm is done. Grey Worm. Grey, Grey Worm yeah, yeah. is girl, Um, what's her name? Uh, Masinde. Yeah, yeah, I think. I don't think she's gonna die. You don't think so? She's gonna be in the crib. Like she ain't gonna die. I don't know. You know what? I'm not gonna see her. I don't like think people in the crib. They were die. sitting there like, where, where did um after this? You know, you don't want to stay here forever. So, what? Where would you? Should like I kill Grey Worm and Missinde? I think so. That's basically like their goodbye. Like, Let's where see, do you want to go Masinde. after this? I think it's Missinde yeah. and Nar. Yeah. And they're like, he said. Uh, she said the beach. He said, okay, I'll take you to the beach when this is over. Hey. So you think Grey Worm and his girlfriend are going to both die? I don't think you realize how many people are going to die. In I do realize how many people are going to die. I just don't believe they're going to do all that. Like, mm-hmm. all that? And the fact that um, the fact that they got... Ed, dead. Go ahead. All these people, they're having them um, hide for safety in the crypts. I think it's going to backfire because I think, just like you predicted, I think the people in the crypts are going to come alive. And they're going to end up attacking the people that are in the crypts, hiding for cover. Yeah, well, they're necromancers, so I believe that. See, I don't know if anybody heard me say this before, but I'm saying it now. Uh, I think the Night King is going to use his magical necromancing powers and raise the dead in the crypt. Especially if there's, like, some kind of weird spell he can't get in there. You know what I'm saying? Right. So... I think he's going to raise the dead in the crypts. That's what I think he's going to do. Yeah, and all those people are going to be in there 
With the kids with, and women and children. And, why would you be in the tomb, like, when a guy that can raise the dead? That makes no sense. Where else are they going to put him, though? <laughs> true, true, And you'd true. think Brandon can see the future. He knows. That's what I'm saying. He why, knows if what's going to happen. The, if Brandon can see the freaking future, why, why, he can't, why is he acting so dumb all of a sudden? And why is he not giving him a better way to protect himself? He's acting like you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, hey, does Dragonfire kill this thing? Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, no one's ever tried before. Own here. If you're such a, if you're supposed to be the magical, all-knowing being and see the future, past, present, go check that shit out. I don't think anybody was hard enough on Brandon. I would have been like, listen, Brandon, I don't want to hear I don't know. Yeah. Okay? You better tell I don't know is not an answer. You can see the future. You better tell me something. You can see the future. Tell us how to kill this guy. He's Not, talking, I don't know. He's basically coming after you. He yeah. just let him. We're protecting you, yeah. you little punk. You let him. What do you do? Bite him or touch him or you let something? Let him touch him. Yeah. So you're bringing him into here to. You bring him. Our world. You're bringing him into our. Yeah. Because you're bringing you, the nonsense. Because you he want to be close wall to him. You. Yeah. What do you mean you don't know? What do you mean you don't know, Brain? He sat there looking at him like, oh, knowing he was going to touch him and just let him. Yeah. And they tried to lie to the three-eyed raven after he did it. Yeah. Like, I don't, did he touch you? I, uh, what kind of sort of, I don't know. Yeah. Like, you little chump. You know oh, damn well he did. I can't stand I can't stand Brand. You think Brand's going to, um. I don't care if Brand dies. Actually, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't care if Brand dies. Give me Brianna Tarth any day. I want Brianna Tarth to survive. I want Toman Giants Bane to survive. I want the Onion Knight. I want oh, even yeah. little, ma- yeah, table, even little yeah. baby Mormont, um, Liana Mormont, to survive over Grant. You Brad. know, it's funny. In yesterday's episode, uh, I don't know who the little girl was, but she went up to Dave Austin and was like, I want to fight. Oh, her accent was so cute. I think oh, she my reminded God. him of Stannis' daughter. Just the way he was looking at her. He's looking she, at her like. You know what? That's what Because she had a scar on her side of yep, her face. Yep. So that probably is exactly what that probably reminded Dave yeah, of. He looked but at she, her in long That probably reminded her Dave of of um, Stannis' daughter. Yeah. She's like, I want to fight. Yeah, because that's how Stannis is. I don't want to hide in the tombs. I want to fight. And then they're like, you can protect everybody down in the crypts. And she's like, okay, I'll fight for the crypts. <laughs> like, oh, that was so okay. <laughs> that was too like, cute. Cold. <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> that was too cute. Yeah. That was definitely a cute moment. That definitely, that definitely was. definitely a cute moment. That definitely was. But that was his Stannis' his daughter's flashback. Because he loved Stannis' daughter. He, like, after Stannis did that, he... Stannis knew he that he loved his daughter. So that's why Stannis sent him away. Yeah. You know? Not, and that yeah. saved Davos' life. Not if, Stannis, that. if Stannis didn't send him away, he would end up dying on the field. You know? With, yeah. with, with, with Stannis. He sent him away to go tell Jon Snow to give him and, food and stuff. And, and because horses. he knew that once Davos knew what he was doing, that he would have tried to stop him. He would have stopped him. Yeah. Just like he did it when he stopped him he, from killing... Um, um, Gendry. He knew Gendry. It was His name's Gendry. The night's what? For the night is dark and full of terror. For the night is dark and full of terror. Well, she's she, the night. daughter. But she, we're getting off topic a little. No, no, no. She, she's definitely coming. But I don't want to. You think so? Yeah, she's definitely coming. Yeah, she's I was wondering where she was. She definitely has something to do with the ending of this show. So, I, not the ending, but I feel like she has something to do with this part of the show. Like, the Night King coming, the Night King's coming, and that's what their whole religion's all about. Yeah. So, the, I was um, wondering where the heck she was. Like, what the hell, what the hell is she, her, what's her religion called? Did she shrivel up in a... What the hell is that religion called? Um, Not the night's nice, dark and full of terrors. It's um. No. Oh, they believe in the Lord of Light. Yeah. The Lord of Light. So, the Lord of Light is basically the opposite of the White Walkers. So one's a fire god and one's a ice god. So, we'll see. We'll see. So she's definitely going to show up. There's no doubt in my mind that Melisandre, the Red Woman, is definitely showing up. Uh, during this battle of Winterfell. So. Just, I was wondering where she was, like why she hasn't been in the season yet. But I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I don't know who's going to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's going to die. And who's going to, who's going to live. But. You think she's going to show up um, like now in the Night's Watch? 
Well, while they're fighting the. Yes, I think she's going to show uh, up during the fight. Thirsty. I think she's going to show up during the fight. I think she shows up during the fight. That, that, that's how I see. I think she, I think not just her, but I think her. Remember the other red priestess that was in um that was told Barris if he had no yo know, Barris. Speaking of Barris, Barris really has nothing to do with the show anymore. I know. Like, but anyway, he, he doesn't fight. He's he doesn't like, talk. He doesn't. He doesn't have any speaking roles. Yeah. Like, why well, is Barris there? there? He's, he's there, but he ain't speaking much. Yeah, I didn't so, think about but that. But anyway, um, she told Barris like if <clears throat> if if she's if she's serving Daenerys, if he is a true servant of Daenerys, she has nothing. He has nothing to fear of her. So that red priestess, um, you know. So I think the red priestess are gonna have something to. To say about this and this fight against uh, Night King. You might be right. And um, God, I don't. You know what? The way they were saying goodbye to everybody, I. I That's what I'm saying. Like that was basically, to me, it seemed like a goodbye scene. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely was. Yo, let's take a call. Let's take a call. Let's take a call. Welcome to Barbershop Talk Radio. Hello. You there? Hello. Yo, what's up? Hello? Shantae, is that you? Hey, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if you was taking my call or not. I wasn't yeah, taking your I call. Didn't I didn't hear it clock in. Click in. I'm driving. Hey, what's going on? Oh, so tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you're thinking. Who who, who, who do you think's going to die? Like, now, nah, this is I definitely... Think... <laughs> I think every, uh, pretty much everyone's going to die. Um... Everyone. Uh, uh, Brent, yeah, pretty much everyone. Now I don't have any faith that anyone, much, many people are gonna live. Um. Uh. Oh God, what's her name? Uh, Brianna Wood got knighted. She's gonna die. I think so. Yep. Who? Yeah. Uh, she, uh, no. No. Brianna, uh, yeah, she, she's Brianna. gonna die. Yeah, Brianna's gonna die. Uh, Gidry's gonna die. Yep, um, I agree. Gendry. You think Gendry's gonna Gendry, die? Yep. Yeah. No. Not yeah. Gendry. Not yeah. Gendry. Jamie's gonna die. Jamie's gonna die. Daenerys is gonna die. I think Daenerys is gonna die. Yeah. Daenerys is gonna die now, I think, because Sansa's gonna be Sansa's gonna live and I don't think both of them are gonna live. Plus I don't think her and John are gonna both live, so yeah, she's gonna die. And uh, she's 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 irritating me. Recently, uh-huh. um, yes. she's, power, she's power hungry, and I yes. like that. Um, I told you she was a bad. Not yeah, humble she's not humble um, at all. Yes, I think she's gonna die. Um, because uh, yeah, when when her and John were talking, she was more concerned about him going for the throne than you know anything else. Anything else? All she was worried about was. Uh, you have We're a claim for the throne, yeah. you know? Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. Yeah, really, my, I don't think either one of them have a claim to the throne. I mean, not really. Uh, I don't think they do. Cersei really has no claim to the throne. She just took it. Right. It's whoever just takes whoever the throne. Whoever takes it. That's basically it. Really? Was basically just going to take the throne. He had no right to it. Robert Baratheon had no right to the throne. Right. You know, so why I don't understand why anybody tries to do a secession thing, but they have no right to the throne whatsoever. That's why I don't like how everybody's bowing down to her like like she's. Well, she has the biggest her. army, though. I get it. I, I get, get it. That, and two but... dragons. Well, she had three, but two. So I get it. I get, I get that, it. but. I don't know. Yeah, so. She's gonna die. Um, <laughs> that's, that's everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was every you know, like everyone was saying goodbye to each other. It was, they were doing like their you know their last final thing, and that's yeah. what I said. Everybody was saying their goodbye Gendry. before the battle that happened. Yeah, Gendry's gonna yeah. die. I don't think yeah. Gendry's yeah. gonna die. You know, he he tapped that. He took Arya's virginity, and he's a goner. He's a goner. Oh no, yeah. 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 no, a, not I think Gendry. Theon, I think Theon's Oh yeah, die. I think Theon's definitely yeah, a goner. Yeah, he's he's, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. going in. He's going in there to protect Bran just to die, just because you know he's gonna die. He needs yep. to die anyway. Okay, I would not be shocked if Bran died. Honestly, I think well, Samuel. He hasn't done anything. He's I know he sucks. Like, did you hear what I said earlier? He's talking about um um. They're like, hey, 
all knowing, all powerful, three eyed raven. Does Dragon Fire work against the uh, Night King? I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck is that? What do you mean you don't know? What do you mean you don't know? That's unacceptable, Brain. That's unacceptable. You cannot say, I don't know. I don't know should never come out your mouth when you can go and find out. You can see the future. You, you see, see the, the future, past. the past. You brought him here. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have to tell him. Brain has, cool. has, has never cool. He's chasing you. Yeah. He's chasing you. Yep. And you go, I don't know. I don't know how to kill him. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, unacceptable, Brain. Unacceptable. I think he knows. Yeah. I just think, I don't think he, I think he's gonna live. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think he's gonna die though. I think he's gonna be. He's gonna live though. But he's just not contributing to anything. Nothing. Oh, he's just sitting there grouping himself. What about Jamie Lannister? You think he dies? Yes. I he's think he's gonna die. Yeah. You think, you think Jamie dies? Yeah. Yeah. No. If he don't die in this battle, he's, he's gonna, gonna die, die in the next yeah. one. All right, let's Again, do this. I, I'll name them, and you tell me if they die, okay? Yeah. If you think they're going to die, okay? You there, Shantae? Yep. yep. All right, let's start with Tyrion. You think Tyrion dies? No. Not okay. in this battle. All right. How about Sansa? She dies? She lives. No, she lives. All right. What about Arya? She lives. What about the Hound? Uh, I think he's gonna die. No, he has to do. He has to kill his brother, so I don't think he's gonna die. But I think, all right, he's, gonna, I think he's gonna kill his brother. Going. I think he's gonna kill his he brother, but kill his brother. I think he's gonna die. Yeah, he 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 will kill his brother, but I still think he's gonna die. Well, well, not. I'm talking about in this battle, just this battle, Shanta. This just this battle. Oh, I'm not talking. Oh, I'm talking about Winterfell. That's George. Oh, no, I think he's gonna live for the battle. Yeah, I'm talking about for the food. I'm trying to see who you think is gonna survive this battle. The battle. Okay. okay, that's all. Yeah, the battle. All right, what about um, Jorah Sir Jorah? Jorah Mormont. I can't. I couldn't hear you. What about Jorah Mormont, the one Sam gave the sword to? Um, oof. I think he might live for this. Ah, I don't know. He got this. Ah. Uh, I think he might die. That's- yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's a he's tough like, one. I'll honor this sword yeah. for my father. He's, he's something like that. Time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I he's on the fence for me. At the end of the season, yeah. he's not gonna die, but he might die. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, sure I, I don't know. Okay. What about uh, Grey Worm? No, he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. yeah anyone, 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 anyone who's got some, or like, yeah, he's dead. Yeah. He's already he's no dead. He's no longer a virgin. He's dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what about his girlfriend? Make sure he's saying goodbye. I think she's gonna live. Yeah, I think she lives too. Sam. Yeah. Is he fighting? I don't know. Sam's she fighting. Gonna be a he said he's gonna fight. Yeah. John told him not to fight, but. Oh, what Sam, about Sam's gonna live. Yeah. Sam's not gonna die. Let's let's lump Sam together with his um the trio. So Sam, Gilly, and Baby Sam. Do they live or not? I think all they're gonna live. live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sam uh, is like the this? he's like really important. <laughs> Sam's like a like a Terran almost. Like he's gonna live. Kind of person. Yo, I got this weird feeling. I think you're kind of right. I got this weird feeling that Sam's almost just as important as Bran. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, just yeah. as much as Sam. Is, Sam, Sam gets things done. Like he, he, he's like the knowledge seeker, and he's good. He's, he's, gonna, that. he's, he's the one that came up with the dragon glass. Yeah, he's the one with the dragon glass. He's the one that figured out the yeah. dragon glass. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he's the one that he first, he's the first one to figure Walker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he figured out how to cure um that weird disease. Grayscale, grayscale. Yep. That, okay. That rash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That how about John? Rash. Does John Snow John? die in this battle? No, yeah, no, he lives. John is gonna be. Yeah, he he definitely is gonna win. Lives. What about Toman Giants Bane? Does he live in this battle through this battle? <laughs> I want him to so bad. I He's want very to, sure from drinking does. giant's milk. <laughs> He's drinking giant's milk. He was showboating for his woman. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. That part was all. Oh, that shit had me dying. Yeah. 
Yeah. I hope That's he doesn't either. I hope he doesn't either. I hope he doesn't, I hope I hope he doesn't die. die either. But he might he might die trying to save his woman now, so he didn't really Oh, I got another one. Liana Mormont. The little girl with the ugly face. Oh no, I think she's gonna live. I think she's gonna live. I don't think so. I think she's gonna die. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think her cousin's gonna save her. Jory. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think I he's gonna save her. Because he told her not right. to fight. And she's like, He told her not to fight. Here. Yeah, but I think he's gonna she's gonna he's gonna end up giving his life to save her life. Nah, I can't see Jor dying, man. He's gotta see he's gotta be there when she takes the Iron Throne. She has to be there if she takes the Iron Throne. I think she has a better chance of dying before he does. Yeah. All right. Who else? Uh, You you think he? You think who? Daenerys or? I think Daenerys has a better shot of dying than than Jorah Mormont. I don't know. I think maybe both of them. But I'm not. He has a Valyrian steel sword. He can't die. I don't know. Okay. Ed. But I Ed, think the guy the Night's Watch, the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch now. Uh, Jon Snow's best friend. Uh, Is he that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think so, too. I think so, too. Yeah. He's not important enough to live. I think we named everybody. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. The guy with the yeah. flaming sword. Uh, Beric Dundarian. Oh, he's like, he's died and yeah. came back to life. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He, I don't think he can. Yeah, I don't he, think he can he's die. already outlived. Yeah, yeah. He's dead. All right. Yeah, well, let's that. Pretty much all dead. Oh, Shante, just stay on. Just stay on. And listen, I'm not gonna mute you, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add another call. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Welcome to Bar Shop Talk Radio. What's up? That you there? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can. Hi, yes, I how can. Are you? Hello, how are you doing? I am doing well. It's another game of Thrones. I down in the books. We got four more left. I'm doing good, but yeah. I'm kind of sad that it's almost over. But at the same time, I'm so excited that I, uh, I, I can't stop thinking about it. One of the shows you were listening to on YouTube the other day said that there's going to be another episode that comes on after the season finale. I don't know. It was something you were listening to on YouTube. Said so there's gonna be one final episode after the season finale airs. I think it's I think see. it's only five it episodes. I mean six episodes. There is. Let okay. me look it up. Let's get into it. Now, how did you feel about this episode? Um, I love this episode. I feel as though it was it gave us everything that we needed. It was very heavy, very emotional, had a lot of humor in it, and I think we got a lot of information. Um, uh, I think we learned a lot, and some loose ends were tied up, and that's what I like. <sighs> it was, it felt like, it almost felt like a season finale for some of the some of the characters, you know, like well, it was like saying uh, uh, goodbye, you know. But I don't know which exactly which one. We got an idea of which one, you know. Well, it, I think that's why they played it like that. So emotional. Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Do I sound weird? No, you sound fine. You sound fine. I feel like I have an echo. Um, Yeah, I feel as though um, it was done that way on purpose, so therefore we could be doing this. So we don't know who's going to die because every, you know, main character had had airtime this time. They all had meaningful interactions. So, you know, if you say, okay, they focus on certain characters, yeah, they did, but I think everyone got a piece of the pie in this uh, in this episode, except for the Thraki and the Unsullied. No one cares about them. <laughs> except for Grey Worm. That's it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, no one cares about the Dothraki or the Unsullied. Where have they been? We don't know. No. <laughs> yeah, they're out there, and, and they're cold. Like, I'm just thinking about the Dothraki. <laughs> they are freaking freezing their asses off right now. That's ridiculous. Yeah, the, 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 they came from the desert, and like, <laughs> do they have blankets for them? What are they doing out there? It's so smelly. This is huge. I wonder why the, the the dragons are sick. I mean, they need to be concerned about the death rack. Uh, no medics, no doctors, no penicillin. 
any unsullied. They unsully with their shirt sleeves. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have bare chest. You know, you know, everyone's gonna be sick. I'm just nervous. Is everyone okay? Is anyone taking any vitamin C? Like, how are they gonna get through this? You, I, I don't can't see be it. sleeping well. You know. I, I I don't see how this I don't see how this ends well for any anybody. I just don't see it. Like, how can you possibly even win this war? This is a war, an unwinnable war, basically. Unless you how kill. Many, do we have an estimate on how many people? Um, that we have on the ground now between Unsullied and the Thraki and all the armies. Did they, did we, is there like an S, a roundabout? If I'm not mistaken, I believe they said that she, well, I think that the Night King, they estimated the Night King to have 100,000 men, 100,000 okay. um, okay. corpses yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. soldiers. And then I believe that she only had 10,000 10, Unsullied and mm-hmm. 10,000 mm-hmm. and then 10,000 uh Dothraki? So it's basically yeah. 20,000 versus um, 100,000. Okay, 100, yeah. well, and it's like a couple thousand uh, wildlings and then whatever's left of the um, the veil and then whatever's left of the... Um, you know what? I'm going to say it's probably... If I was is the veil here? Say, the veil is here, right? Yeah, yeah, the veil's still there. Yeah, after they kill okay. Moonfinger, the veil the, the veil stays. Yeah, stays. okay. Sansa kept them. That was his parting gift to Sansa. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So it's basically, I would say it's about half, half versus a hundred thousand. Mm. Maybe, maybe, maybe fifty thousand versus a hundred thousand. But his hundred thousand can easily turn into, yeah. you know, half your army. So yeah, you know what really? makes me nervous about a lot is because I remember how they ripped through the cave, the uh, cave where when Bran was there with the three eyed ravens. When they uh-huh. ripped through that cave like nobody's freaking business. So I can't imagine how they're going to run up on them and sell it into Thraki. They're going to take them out in about a minute. Yeah. It's yeah. scary. It's just crazy. I, I don't see how they can stop them. I, I don't see how they can stop them. And then, the fire and the dragons. That's it. That's about it. And they got, they literally have. Um, dragon glass everywhere. You see shards of it in the wood. It's it's in the yeah. it's in the uh, brick. It's everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, but is that gonna is that gonna be enough? Because they, he he has a dragon as well. So yeah, uh, I I just don't see how they can stop him. I just don't. I don't, I don't see how they can stop him. I don't think I don't think so either. Stop. I mean, I mean the simple fact that lose. they're running. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think they're going to stop them because they're in the crypts and they look scared in the crypts. If 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 they if everything went well, there would be no scenes of them running crazy in the crypts. So they're not going to stop them. I, if only, if only, you know what? You know what? I feel like this is, and you know, I might be wrong, but I feel like they're they're they're. Their plan was so lazy and so average, and Bran was no help. Bran was no All help. All he like, did was offer himself. Oh, like, like, yeah, uh, as bait. yeah, just use me as bait, buddy. Like, okay, well, let's just give them to you then. Like, shit, if you, if you don't want to help, like, you can see the future. Won't you go to the future and see how we stop them? Like, Bran offered nothing. Nothing. After Bran, after Bran got hold of hide him, the dragons, hide our, hide our most powerful weapons until he he comes out and let's sneak up on him with two dragons. What? Not a good plan, Bran. Not a good plan. <laughs> I, you know what? I almost want Bran to get killed. Yeah, I said it. So Why? what? I'm going to pull myself. <laughs> I'm going to pull myself. I have Bran done. I want I Bran dead. I want an Night King side. Right with like, Bran. Why is everyone Bran. upset with Bran? Because he's so weak. He's so weak. He has no legs, Lamar. I mean, he doesn't he have to have legs. legs. He's a cripple. He got, he, got, he got thrown out of the uh, window when he was a child. He hasn't had an easy life. And he's literally had nightmares. He thought he was going crazy for years. No, I that was just him working in uh, animals when he was Bran. sleeping. I okay, that's weird. Friend. Okay, you can't expect him to be a normal person at all. You know, he's been doing weird shit for a long time. You know. 
It's just so strange at this point. Like, I am sick of Brandon. Brandon Stock, Brandon Stock must go. I, 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 you know what? I'm on Night King's side right now. Applaud me. <laughs> <laughs> I am so fed up with Brandon Stark. You know what? He... He has to come up with something. If you can see the future, you have to give me something more than, uh, I don't know. Well, what do you mean, Drag- does Dragonfire kill the Night King? I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? He asked, Sam asked him, what does the Night King want? Bran said, he wants me. to erase this world. Yeah. I'm his memory. He oh. wants to erase this world, and I'm his memory. So he wants to kill everybody and just have dead people walking all over? Is so, that what he wants? Listen, to I would, all I, the living? I, if, I, if, I was, if I was Jon Snow, I would go make a make a truce with the uh, Night King and hand over Bran and like take him and just leave, leave us, us alone. alone. Take Bran. We don't need him. Leave us alone. But he said he's gone after it. all the three-eyed ravens in the past. The yeah. Night King has had something against all the three-eyed ravens in the past. Because they are the living memories of um, the world of men, basically. That's how, I, that's how I saw it. How'd you guys interpret that? That I thought that was an interesting conversation, um, and I do feel as though Brand did give some 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 insight as much as you can. I mean, because right now we're not talking to Brand; we're actually talking to the Three Eyed Raven. Um, and when he asked him what does he want, he said he wants an endless night, which of course is death. And then Sam Botani comes in and he says it's forgetting. So basically, forgetting your experiences, forgetting who you were, and then you just become animals at his beck and call. So, um, and I guess him going after him is, like you said, I interpreted it the way you said it was, he basically wants to erase the existence and memory of man. And I, and, and I think the importance of brand goes back to, you know, the original, not the original, but the last three-eyed raven. Um, he was hiding from him all those years in that yeah. case. So He had a spell on him that, and so Brand effed that up. Yeah, yeah. The, well, the children of the forest were spelling him, so he couldn't get to him. But, you know, Bran messed that up. But I think he's probably the worst three-eyed raven that there'll ever be um, at this point in time. He's not a good three-eyed raven. He should be fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody he's killed. the worst three-eyed raven ever. Like, he mm-hmm. got Hodor freaking killed. He got Hodor killed. He, he, he got... Um, he doesn't know how to kill the Night King. <laughs> he, he's about to have, he got Jon Snow upset at his girl. His girl upset at him. They melted the wall. Yo, that come on, man. You're right. Bran is the worst he's only three have, he's only one ever. Job. He only had one job this whole entire series, and he's done nothing. He should be fired. He stinks. No. He stinks. Get him out of here. Impeach him. Impeach Bran. Applaud me. <laughs> <laughs> I want Brain out of office. I want Brain out of tree. <laughs> I want out him out of tree. That's tree. the problem. Out of tree. Brain stinks. He sucks. He's the worst three eyed raven in the history of three eyed ravens. <laughs> I want Sam. You know what? I'm backing Samwell Parley as the next three eyed raven. Applaud me. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what we're doing. Yo, Sam seems to be way more knowledgeable than fucking Brand. And he's getting it from books. And he's getting out of books, not out of uh, futuristic See, Professor uh, X powers. You know? And Brand wouldn't even break the news to his brother. He wouldn't even break the news to John. He was scared like, to do that. Like, no, what a what a wuss. Uh-uh. Why do you guys keep calling him Bran? He's not Bran anymore. He's the Three-Eyed Raven. And yeah. I think the problem why he sucks at being the Three-Eyed Raven right now is because he, he didn't finish. He didn't get to where he needed to be. Yeah, his, whole, his transformation got interrupted. So I think that's why, why he was that? just sitting there like, listen, I guess I was just going to sub. And I'm gonna that was his fault, too. That was his fault, too. Yeah. 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 Uncle so Benjamin, poor like, Uncle no. Benjamin's dead yeah. because of him. Yeah. Uncle Benjamin's dead Hodor because of poor Bran. Hodor is gone and had a sorry life because of him. Bran yeah. sucks. But what? 
But Lamar, but Lamar, what if what if all of these people were actually put in place to be sacrifices for Brand? Like even Jojen, those were those were sacrifices for him to get where he needed to be to become the Three Eyed Raven. So I don't think it's first of all, it wasn't Brand. This is all this was all work of the Three Eyed Raven through through Brand, and that's why he keeps telling everyone I'm not him. So I think you guys should give Brand a rest. Right? Brand died in that case. It's done deal. Yeah, you might be right. What if they would just sacrifice it for him? And that's, well, how, he, Brand, that's how you kind of, kind of look at it. Well, Bran wasn't doing what he was supposed to do either because he wasn't following the directions. That's why he didn't get the yep. download quick He's enough. He's a curious Brand teenager. Yeah. Mm. He wasn't. Can I tell you right? Right. Bran was not doing what he was supposed to do. It's why everything jumped off before... He was even ready. So before he doesn't know how to work. Even the information. Yeah, before he can even learn what he needed to do. And he just it's like, it's like a kid he still in the car. It's like, a it's, it's like a kid still in the car. You weren't you didn't get permission to get these keys. Yeah. And then yeah. everybody yeah. Crazy. It's like he just got his license and the thought he can do a hundred on the on the turnpike. And got surprised when he hit a tree. Like, you know, that's exactly what happened. He wants to go off working by himself, and then la 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 la. All these people in and then and then he goes right to the Night King's camp. Like he don't see me. He don't see me. And then he touches him like, Just oh shit, he's touching me. Yeah, he saw you. Dummy. <laughs> oh, I can't stand Brian. You know what? I think Brian. I can't stand Bran like I can't stand Tariq in power. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> they both make me sick. All right. Now, let's get to... to. So, online they're saying in order to kill the Night, the Night Kings, there's too many of the Night King's army. So just to take out the Night King and the rest of the army is going to die with him. You mm-hmm. think that's true? You think if you kill yeah, the Night King, yeah, yeah. he's gonna die? It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. Mm-hmm. That's, you know what? That's the thing that sucks is that that's what the, that's the only plan they're banking on. Right. Like, yeah, let's just kill the Night King and then everybody else will die. Like, but if it doesn't happen that way, if, if it don't happen that way, they're screwed. They're screwed. I think Winterfell is a wrap. I think this is the last we see of Winterfell. I think they destroyed Winterfell. But I don't Winterfell. think that's a bad plan, though. I think that's the most effective plan possible because while they're busy doing other stuff the the head for them to go after is the main night king it, it's him so they're trying to save as many people by going by using brand as bait or the three-eyed raven as bait as bait and going straight to the head so therefore they won't all kill everybody and that's what brand said brand said it he says draw him out so he don't destroy everybody so we i think so you're that's the use best, your most book. comprehensive plan you're going to use your most powerful ally in this fight. How's he powerful? You, you guys just said he wasn't powerful. You guys just said use... he wasn't powerful. You said he was trash. He is he trash, trash, but he's the most powerful yeah, one out of everybody else. But he offered to be used as bait. What has he done? What, what, what has he done? See? I mean, and then you're going to have Theon Greyjoy. You're going to use Theon Greyjoy as his protector? Oh, yeah. no. Theon is an expert archer, Namar. He's an expert archer. Don't forget. Yeah, and archer. he saved Bran before. Oh, he's a coward. He's a punk bitch. Yeah, he is a coward. No, a that coward. was Ben. That was Reek. He's not Reek anymore, guys. This is Theon. No, Brooks off the okay. edge. He's just abandoned the answer. Theon the ballist. Theon the ballist. Theon the ballist. He's, and, and, and here's the thing. He, Theon the ballist. <laughs> Um, I think he he's he's making another sacrifice to protect the three eyed raven. I'm telling you, I think oh. it's going to work. I don't think they're going to get him, but I think honestly, that's the best plan that they have to him. So you got to go for it. I'm already reading Theon's obituary right now. Uh, he's <laughs> <laughs> right now, he knows it. He knows it. Theon yeah, knows is it. That's, why he, that's why he came back. He knows that he knows he has to make the sacrifice because honestly, a lot of this shit wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Theon. Exactly. He fired. That, yeah. yeah. So he, he's doing the right thing, and he will die doing what, the right thing as he should. What Theon did to Rob Stark and the Starks as a whole mm, was a mm. direct result 
of Rob Stark being murdered. It was yep. that was the first ball in three. It was three strikes. That was the first strike that got Theon, um Rob Stark killed. The first strike yep. was Theon yep. taking his castle. Second strike was the, um um uh, Rob Stark trusting um no 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 marrying that girl and then he trusted Walder Frey to forgive everything and his wrath. After he his mom told him not to do all that shit and he did it anyway and it cost them both their lives. So Rob Stark sucks. He's almost worse than Bran. Listen, how did you guys feel about Arya knocking boots? Yeah. Arya I was, getting I, I, I with thought it. that was the best. I thought that was great. Good for her. You Good like her. it? She was like, I'm not gonna die. Weird at first. What'd you say, Shante? It felt a little weird at first, like watching that kind of crazy. Because she looks like a little, she looks like a little girl. Yeah, but uh-huh. still, not, but you still, still see her, her as a tiny. little girl. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this is not right. But <laughs> That's what I said. Like, oh my god, Arya! Oh, yeah. They did the scene tastefully, so that was at least they did the scene tastefully. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know what? I cringed a little bit more. I cringed more when Ramsey raped Sansa. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I was like, oh shit! Oh god, I can't even watch that it. Insane. That made me yeah, sick. That, was horrible. that made me that was sick. Horrible. But this wasn't rape. That's no, no, no. She. I was just shocked. Yeah. Like. I couldn't believe it. That was... I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I'm like, no oh, I way. Knew that was gonna I knew that was going to happen. Yes. Did you see Gendry? You know what <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course. The minute she saw Gendry, you knew she was going to get some. Yeah. From the minute she saw she told, when she told him what to do to make her weapon, um, that, uh-huh. was her, that was her cue. And she bossy with it, too. So, you know, when she was yeah. like, where's my shit? And he like, oh, I got other things to do. And she was like, let me tell you something, motherfucker. I ain't come to play. I'm to kill. So he <laughs> make my he, shit. Arya, she came in and was like, listen, I'm not playing. I need my shit. Get it together. And then I'm going to break you off something, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the whole entire time. I'm going to pay you in cheeks. <laughs> Yeah. Booty <laughs> me. I still, I'm, yeah, it caught me off guard. It just caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. I, I didn't see it coming. I I didn't see it. As a kid, like she's the little Arya from the first season. Yeah, but it's kind of crazy that you never see someone from a, doing a show where they were kids grow up, kid, they grow up, up and start yeah. in the shit. Yeah. Like, oh shit, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see it coming, but. Yo, good for Arya. Let's applaud Arya. Getting knocked, getting knocked down. Getting the big. Getting the big. Getting the winter special, baby. Yeah, but Chante thinks that was a sign of Gendry getting the fucking getting killed. Yeah, she had to get yeah, something he's gonna die. You think Gendry dies? Yeah. I don't think now, he dies now. Gendry? I don't think he dies now. I don't think so. Either. I mean, if, they, if that's the case, the basically battle. all he was good for was Dick in um, uh, uh, Dragon Glass. That's it. Like that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and that stuff. That's that's stuff to begin with, you know. <laughs> so good I think we're gonna make weapon. our weapons, and then Ari's gonna rape you, basically, because she did. <laughs> when she started uh, taking her gloves off, when she started taking her gloves off, I was like, oh shit, she is not playing. She's like, I'm not the red woman. You take your own pants off. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and she wanted to know his body count before. She was like, uh-huh. how many yep. been with? Uh-huh. Like, she was not, she, listen, I, listen, she was not playing. I love it. She did her thing. Wow. I was mm-hmm. shocked. I was shocked. And I bet you she didn't have to pay for that weapon either. He made it. So how did you guys feel? Now this is I don't know if you guys saw what I saw but in the beginning. When when Daenerys tried to put Jamie when Jamie Lannister was on uh basically trial and Brienne mm-hmm. came to his rescue. But did you basically notice how when Santa said he was once Brienne said to Sansa, I trust him. He's good. 
And then Santa basically mm-hmm. got up and popped the mic and walked away. And Daenerys is like, uh, uh, well, how you feel, John? And he's just like, I don't know. Uh, how do you guys feel? Like how do you guys feel? You want to fight? Um, I think it's a sign, another sign, that Daenerys is losing power right before your very eyes. Like uh-huh. that, that was that was a, and it was very apparent. Um, I think everybody read it um, because it was put on display for everybody to see. This was not a meeting put in private, so I think mm-hmm. everyone saw it. Everyone saw how Sansa literally overrode her uh-huh. based off of the word of Brienne. And the thing yeah. is. That's what that's the type of checks and balances that Daenerys needs because she's an outsider. She just got up this way. They don't. She don't uh-huh. know nobody's background. She don't know the history. She don't know what they've been through. She been in Essos just gathering up a whole bunch of brown people, getting an army together. So these little things, if she was a smart um, ruler or leader, she would actually be consulting with others as opposed to using her emotions because that's what she was doing. Um, in handling the situation. And I love how the contrast between Sansa, you know, Brienne stood for, for Jamie. Um, and that's yeah, a whole other topic that. I really need to talk about. That. And, yeah, and, and uh, you know, Jon Snow, he's just all about the logistics. Like, oh, he got, he got one hand, we fight him. Like, we just need men. Uh-huh. So I think the, di- different di- the power dynamic that was on display and the problem with um, Daenerys was hers was all emotion and revenge. She's a very uh-huh. vengeful, very, very vengeful leader. And a I bad think leader like I she, told you from the I beginning. I told you. I know. And they, and they, they can't can't that bad. I, right. bad. Yeah. I told you. I can't say bad. Yeah, you're right. She was, she, 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 she's power hungry. Oh. Yeah. She's power hungry. It, it took a lot for me because I, I used to hate Sansa for a very long time. But, like, Sansa is like, I have so much respect for her now, and um, oh, yeah, yeah I like how I like how she handled that whole situation. She didn't her care. character has grown so much. Yeah, she has grown so much. Like, yeah, you know, I like how she gets these shows in there. It's like I don't. Like, her that's a Paul Sansa. It's Paul Sansa, yes. She yeah. has come a long way. She has come mm-hmm. a long way, and like, Daenerys has like, fallen. And she's just basically falling out the sky right now. Like she does not okay. know how to rule people. She's gonna turn into who was it? Her her dad, her brother. She's basically turning that, into her like, dad. The, like, the crazy king. Who yeah, the yeah. mad king. The mad king. Well, yeah. she basically see Jura had to take her to the side. Like, listen, you need to ease up on my man Tyrion because yeah. he's trying yeah. his mm-hmm. best. He's human. Yeah. Leave him alone. Yeah. He's trying. He's not. He's not snaking you. He's just human. Yeah. He's making mistakes. He he's, not mistakes. Eating, but he's owning his mistakes. So stop treating him like right. shit. Yeah. She right. had to hear that from Jorah Mormont. She's a bad boss. She's a bad boss. Yeah, she is. She sucks. And I've been told you guys that. I don't think so, though. Can I just give you my... Oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys about her. Go ahead, man. Go no, ahead. But, but, but here's my point on Daenerys. You can't hate on her because she is accomplished. And not only that, I think she leads with her heart. And I think she always led with her heart. She never really led with her head. And I think that's, what, that's a Targaryen thing anyway. They're all very emotional and passionate and ridiculous um, leaders. So that doesn't make her a bad leader because she was good her, at her main purpose. And I believe Daenerys had one sole purpose, and that was literally to gather up people and bring their ass to Westeros to fight the Night King because the timing is perfect. I think not the Night her, King, her not the Night King. Huh? Now, her main objective was to get the Iron Throne. We, we know, oh, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is I'm talking about that was her objective, her plan. I'm talking about her overall purpose. I think her overall purpose oh, was okay. to gather, okay. th- gather those people, um, get them here, and to fight the Night, the night King, because that's where she is right now, and the dragons. I think her main purpose right now is to defeat the White Walkers. That's it. I don't think... Yeah. I don't, and, and if she wasn't the way she was, by literally going through Essos Marine and burning everything down to hell, you know, freeing all these slaves, creating... I think that was her main purpose. That is her call. 
And had it not been for her being the way she is with the uh, passion and the dedication and the tenacity to, to do what she wanted to do, the Winterfell would be fucked right now. Like, there True. would be... So, right, so I think her purpose is exactly that. Is she made to rule? I don't think so. I think she's made to conquer because she does that very well. And that's yeah. what her purpose is in this whole story, I think. But she cannot conquer the North. And she cannot conquer the North. She doesn't even want to be there. She's not going like, to. This isn't my fight. This isn't my fight. Yeah, it's, her, it's everyone's she's fight. Saying, yeah, but she was basically saying that. Uh, only reason I'm here is because of Jon Snow. Yeah. Uh, no, you're here because if you don't, why? Yeah. Just like everybody after, else. After the Night King takes out Winterfell, he's going to come for, for... For the rest every, of the, the, the Seven Kingdoms. Yes. Yeah. So, well, I don't... Listen... Her main you, you purpose know, was to be. I think you're absolutely. You know what? I'm going to applaud you. You. I think you're absolutely right. I think her whole part in this story is to That's defeat it. the night king, and then after that, That's she's it. not meant to rule. I'm going to applaud you. That's it. But I told you that from the beginning. I told you that she's never no, going to make it. Hated her because she you didn't like the balls that she had. I think that was it. But I, no, I no, no, no. Her, her ability to rule. rule. Cruel and unusual punishment. Dragon fire by death. There is no reason for her to be doing the things that she was doing. She's so heartless. The way she shit on poor Sam. Well, sorry. Oh, poor Sam. (laughs) Sam didn't deserve that shit. He said your best. He said your best mate. Her best friend. He didn't even like him. His family didn't like him. So. I mean, come on. So what? That, is, that means just because they don't like you, that means you're out to die? Bend the knee or die? Like, come on. Where, what about, where's Alton C? Where's the Night's Watch? Where's um Banishment? Where's Go to Bravos? Where, where, where's Leave the Seven Kingdoms? Why does it got to be one or two? Leave, this, leave the Seven Kingdoms or die? Why? Why? She's ruthless. And Terry told her, and you know what? I can't stand her anymore. She makes me sicker and sicker every time I see her. <laughs> you hated her from the beginning, though, even before she got the dragon. I hate her. I hate her. Always hated her. She makes me sick. <laughs> you hated her. You hated her when she was still enslaved by her brother. You still hated her. <laughs> Oh God, not necessarily. So, now I can, can, can I talk about can I talk about one thing? I think it's really. I think this was um, uh, about Jamie and when he was on trial, which was total bullshit. Because the one thing they need to keep going back to is Brand saying we don't have time for that. Like, why did he say that again? Because he was like, we don't have time for a trial. But yeah. um, I I think the whole Jamie trial part and Brianne standing for him was paramount. You know, Jamie, yeah. when when he was last time in Winterfell, very different man. Like you know, uh-huh. when they first got there, he he had embraced his 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 infamy. Like he embraced it as far as being the King Slayer, and uh-huh. you know, and he literally had to stand in front of. The King Slayer's last child. Just imagine that moment of, you know, he he has all these years because he's he's been known as just the King Slayer, and people have talked about his behind his back. You know, they've uh, shamed him for it. And mm-hmm. in that moment, there that one day that he probably never thought would ever happen was that I got to stand before that man's daughter. And the thing was, he was almost unapologetic, which. He was doing his duty for the people in he that was. moment. But one thing he I was. love he again, was and when he said, what do you want me to say, sorry? Yeah. And and that's a true G. But at the same yes. time, you see all that melt down when Brienne stood up from him. When Brienne stood up from him, for him, and did you see the emotion in his face? You know why? Because uh-huh. no one has ever stood up for Jamie Lannister. No one. One, they hate him because he's a Lannister. Two, they hate him because, you know, he's fucking his sister, which as, you know, rightly so. And then they hate him because he was rich. Like, just, just his name carried so much negativity. And no one ever spoke anything good about him. Ever. Ever. Ned Stark never had anything. No one had anything to say good about him, except for, I think, when he was in one battle and they were talking about he was young and he came in and he killed. You know, but that that emotion that he showed 
when Brienne spoke for him, that was something huge. No one has ever spoken for him. And I think in that moment, his whole character just did like a whole 360. No, but I think he was already doing that whole 360. You're right. You're absolutely right. But I feel like he was already doing that transition to the man that he is today. He's completely different from the last time he was in Winterfeld. And you know what? Let's applaud yeah. Jamie Lannister and no, 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 no. Brienne of Tarth and the King Slayer. Yeah. I love Jamie Lannister. I'm not afraid to yeah. say it. I love yeah. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. I love him. Yo. I and, think Brienne's in love with him. They both are. I think and I think, think he's in love with her, him. but he's just afraid to say it. He he honored her with the by knighting her. Like it was just mm-hmm. uh, that was an awesome, mm-hmm. awesome scene. That was my favorite. Yeah. That was my favorite scene of the yeah. whole show. I started. That was I started my, whole, my favorite scene of the whole show. I started liking Jamie more when he saved her from the bear. That was just like because oh, yeah. he didn't even have to do that. Yeah. So <laughs> I, that's what I was like. He's a, he's not a bad guy. Despite you know his what? <laughs> he, he's not a bad guy, but he just had a bad reputation because he used right. to do bad things, you know. But then again, he did what he was told. Well, well he was kind fucking of. his sister. Yeah, that. that besides that. But he was yeah. in love with her. Yeah. yeah no, no, so no. like, you don't choose who you love and all that other shit. So I don't. I can understand that. And Targaryens but, in his family too. That's how they yeah, had yeah. the golden locks. Yeah. Right. Well, That's not only was that, that but. The only thing Jamie did that was really bad in this whole show was push Bran out the window. But the reason he yeah. did it, I don't know why he did it. Yeah. He got caught banging his sister. And he didn't want nobody to find and out. He didn't want nobody to find out. He was trying to kill Bran, but he didn't kill him. He crippled him. So I get it why he did it. But at the same time, after that, Jamie's, Jamie Landis has been on an arc towards being this righteous man. Like, he's almost as righteous as Tyrion. Like, I mean, yeah, I think you're you're taking it too far. What? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> come on. Seriously, <laughs> listen. He, Jamie he, Lannister. He literally just stopped fucking his sister two weeks ago. So you're taking it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right before I see you in a wet. I think I think I think I enjoyed seeing the transformation because <laughs> it was yeah, it was yeah. the only person that like personally witnessed it was Brienne. So she saw him go through, you know, the arrogance. She saw him go through him, you know, losing his hand. Like she, she witnessed all of that more than Cersei even saw it. You know what I mean? Because he never, she never saw him outside of the kingdom, you know, doing good things or making these pivotal changes. And I think, I think he, she was holding him back a lot. Um, a lot for her held him back for from, you know, being the man that he could be. Just think about like, be. He was up to Winterfell. He knew he had this. He knew he was going to run into Bran. He uh-huh. knew he was going to run into Daenerys. Everybody uh-huh. knew he was going to run again into Bri- Brienne. He, Jamie did a lot of people dirty. But so like he's coming back he and standing now. in front of everyone and but going through that change, I thought that was the truth, yeah. They said whoever came and be a it was, pardon, like, be a truce. So it's not like they put Daenerys on trial when she went to King's Landing. It wasn't a trial. It was supposed to be a truce. They said if she so comes to help, they were all going to fight together. Yeah. Now all of a sudden he's on trial. Like what the fuck? Get out of my face with that bullshit. Just like he said. Like listen, I would do it all over again. I was fighting for my family. You got a problem with that? So be it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I love you know what? I love that Daenerys. Was a waste of time. The beautiful part is now. Time. Now, can you can you give Brand can you give Brand some credit for this? Brand covered it up because they didn't even discuss. All they talked about in the trial was what he did to her father. That's it. Brand covered up for him. So he threw some subliminal. He threw some subliminal out there. The things we do for love. That's he threw some subliminal out there. Like yeah, I know what you did to me, motherfucker. Nobody knows you know, that. You know, you know, you know I know you know what you did. Yeah, he threw it out there. Now. That's right. Time but, to but what happened to Brian that many years ago? They about to all die by dead, exactly. by the dead. They ain't got time. They don't have time for this bullshit. Exactly. Well, that's why Brian didn't say anything, and that's what I'm saying. Y'all need to start giving Brian the slash of three eye raven a little more credit. He, Hell he's gonna no. work out. He's gonna be good. He's gonna be good. This is what Brian sounds yeah, like. He didn't say anything. Go, 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 go,
That's what brain sounds like. Like, like yo, yo, how we kill the free eye raven? This is exactly what he said. Uh, <laughs>
John 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 was putting distance between him and her throughout the whole show. This, this well, episode. I feel like he felt um, he bad was walking about away from yeah, he was, out, yeah. he, he was being real distant. Yeah. Ever since he found out he's Aegon, yeah. Yeah, I think and he can't really look her in the eye. And I think the moment when he did get an opportunity to tell her, I don't think he was expecting that response. But, of course, John is very, very naive. He doesn't think yeah. either. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of a... Uh, who, what kind, who's going to be on the throne? Because I don't think Jon Snow has a very strategic political mind at all. He has a good mind for warfare, and his men worship him. But he's a good leader, yeah. He's a good leader. He's a good leader. But that's about it. He's not a good ruler, but, though. He doesn't want but, to rule. But he's not a good ruler, and he's not good politically. You know, he can that's inspire a lot of people. He gets people to respect him. He's very respectable. But I think I think we have a problem either way. John yeah. Snow is the king, John or and Sam is the hand of the king. The king. Yeah, John, I think that would be a great combo. Yeah. John and Sam? Yeah. John and Sam? No, John and John? Sansa. 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 John and Sansa. Hell no. John and Sansa. Sansa. John and Sansa would be good. Hell no. No, no, no. Sansa, Sansa. 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 I don't know where she's going. Sansa, Sansa all these balls. But she's like Lady Stark. She reminds me of Lady Stark now. Now, hell no. She, don't you ever no, say I that really again. Like Lady Stark. She's a warrior. <laughs> Lady Stark had a... Uh, she's not a warrior, no. She's definitely not a warrior. Lady Stark was a beast for her family. And I don't she's see Stark. that same spirit in Sansa. I don't. She's I gonna, see more of that in Arya. She's going to be hiding in the crypts with the rest of them. Yeah. Where the, where the rest of them yeah, are fighting. Arya will be out there fighting, but she'll be hiding. No, no, no. I think Arya's going to be in the crypts. I don't think Arya's going to be fighting. Yeah, I don't think Arya's going to be fighting. I don't think so. Will. You think you guys think Arya's going to be fighting? Hell yeah. Arya in the bed somewhere, so we don't know where she's going to end up at. She's in the bed. She's Arya's in the bed. She's in the bed. I don't know. <laughs> she snuck Gendry in her room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. I is she chilling right now. She might miss this whole battle, you know? <laughs> she's sleeping from her long night. No, she put his ass to sleep. She was sitting there with her eyes wide open, thinking like, damn, was this worth it? <laughs> you know, can I have no, I, honestly, I, I honestly I just don't see how I, I don't see how Arya can actually fight. Like I don't think she can be out on the bat. She's a beast. Don't get me wrong, but actually be out on the battlefield with like you know you can't sacrifice Arya. Arya can't. No, no, no. Because no, no. if you think about it, all her fights have, she hasn't actually been in any battles. Like no, that. no, no. That's a battle. A yeah, battle no. and a fight is one different. She hasn't different been things. in any battles like that before. Right. No. Right. She's not. She's not a. She hasn't been in a battle. Like so, she might not be out there. She might be in a fight with Cersei, but she might not be in the Night King battle. Yeah, I she's will in the say. Fashion, so she can run up on motherfuckers and take yeah. them out. But as far as like four, five, seventeen of them, that's a whole different story. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh God, God I can't wait. Who's not getting enough credit? Aria. Chate, come on. Stop. Oh, I love the reality. I, I, hasn't Ari. Had I love Ari. But she can't He's be fighting out of the field. She's going to be we don't protecting want her to fight in the battle. Yeah. She's she's gonna gonna be, and we don't want her to fight in the battle. Since she always protected the kids in the crypts with Sam. And that little girl. Yeah. That little girl melted my heart. Oh, my God. I'm talking to Diva. The one getting the the porridge or whatever the stew, whatever she was eating. Yo, yeah, that, that's a future. That, that's girl, a future that little girl reminded here. that little girl reminded Davos of um Stannis's daughter, uh, daughter with the burn on her face. Shireen. and Shireen. um Shireen. Shireen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Shireen. That was that was awesome. That was an awesome moment. I I appreciated that moment in the in the show. Like that was I was in a fight. Like oh, that was so cute. But I think um, Lady Mormont's gonna get get her ass killed. She wants yeah, to fight like think? a little girl too. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's. I think that's. I think the timing's right for that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired of her. She gets killed and then. So what do you? More so, back. so pretty much. So what do you think about Baby Sam? Because you know Baby Sam was the last um, baby that was given, well, that was supposed to be given to 
yes. to the Ninth King. What do you think about yes. that? Because I think I th- I wonder if that still may have some significance because he he's owed to him. He's owed to the Night King, and you know he has the thing with kids too. That's yeah, why you know, sure I never thought about that. That's a good point. I never thought about that. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he might be after Sam's son. son. I mean, yeah. yeah. You know, but his brain thinks it's all about him, but maybe it's not just about him. Maybe it's about the baby, too, because they owe him a baby. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Crafter made a deal with him. Like, yo. He might be going going for the crib. Straight for the crib. Yeah, you might be right. Because you think about it, Night King's been kind of after him ever since then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have. He turned it up after that happened when they messed up the yeah, yeah, did. and they killed when they killed um I guess well, I don't remember the guy's name out there uh the wildling who was fucking all his daughters uh Gilly's dad Craster Craster uh, Craster yeah Craster um I I I I wonder you know he kind of turned it up he may be still kind of yeah. like you miss, you guys messed up my supply yeah give me back yeah. the time it's owed to me. You say, yeah. yeah, oh my God, they're going to have to sacrifice the little baby. <laughs> and you know, they do have a thing with kids, and he doesn't, pr- he doesn't discriminate against children. Even from the very first episode with the little girl um, that was nailed to the tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so they have this thing about the, um, little, the little kids, too. And even at, I think it was called, Har- was it Harren Hall or Hard? It was the first battle that Jon Snow, um, he went up against the Night King, one of the Night Kings. Heart home. Heart, heart home. Heart, heart, heart home, yeah. Heart um, home, yeah. There that he yeah. Did too. So yes. it's also this weird, strange thing about um, them and the kids. Yeah, it is some weird shit with that. And, and, and breaking yeah. their arms up and putting them all around in circles and shit. Like, and just know, like in the first episode. That little that girl. Yeah, I was sick. I don't know what that means. What do you think it means? I have no idea. I I, I want to. I would love to figure that out. I think that has Me to be too. explained somehow, somebody. Yeah, that has to mean something. You know, it has to mean something. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that he's yeah. killing kids, like he does it to kids. Like and remember, yeah, he does it to kids. Where it was like same thing. Like there was a bunch of the arms boys. in a row. Like oh man, the one yo. Hold up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to just change the subject real quick. But oh, it was brought okay. to my attention today. Um, it was something crazy. Like, um, now just bear with me because I don't know exactly because I, um, I don't have the, the post or anything. But it was like uh-huh. a bunch of different, um, I guess, coincidences or I, don't, I wouldn't call it coincidences. It basically seems like, all right. Ned Stark cut off that kid, that kid's head, from the Night's Watch, when he was the, yeah. the deserter. Remember that? Yeah. In the first episode. Yeah. And he got his head cut off. Okay. And then it, it's uh-huh. like all these, all these crazy shits. All right. Um, Bruce Bolton stabbed Rob Stark in the heart, and he got stabbed in the heart. Oh. Hold up! Bruce it gets crazy. It gets crazier. Um, Walter Frey had Catelyn Stark's neck slit, and he got his Ooh. neck slit. Oh, wow. Hold on. It gets even better. It gets even better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, oh, this is good. Um, hold up. Shit. It was, another, it was a couple more. Um, shit. Uh, damn, hold up. I can't remember, but it was something like this. Oh, that's what they were saying, you know, um... That Tyrion shot his father with a crossbow, mm-hmm. so Bra- um, Braun might actually kill Tyrion with the crossbow. Maybe. Mm, I don't want to believe that. I don't either. But it was so many. It was like ten of them. I, I, I gave you a couple of them, but there were so many of them, and I, I'm like, wow, holy shit. Um, That's kind of crazy. There was something else, too. It was a couple other ones, man. It was so many. It was like 10 of them. I'm like, oh, wow. I never even thought of that. Oh, mm. Littlefinger, Ned's throat. Littlefinger put the knife to Ned's throat and told you not, I told you not to trust me. And then 
him trusting somebody, he was trusting Santa, and they ended up getting his throat slit. Um, wow. Mm. So it's foreshadowing of the characters. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's like basically when they do, if they do something dirty to somebody. Oh, mm-hmm. Ramsey Bolton. Ramsey Bolton killed his 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 stepmom and his yes. little brother yes. by dogs. dogs. He ended up dying by dogs. Yes, got it. Okay. So yeah. it's like, like that. So that's why um, we're thinking like it's like you know maybe um, Terry might get killed by a crossbow. By you know, oh, same that's, way he killed. That's what, that's what it was boiling that's up to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So then, how's Jamie Lannister going to die? <laughs> if that's the case. Well, Jamie Lannister only really killed. No. Who did Jamie Lannister kill? It's dead. I don't have his charger. Maybe it's going to be like he gets stabbed in the back, like he stabbed the Mad King in the back. Yo, could happen. I can see that. Maybe that's, that's what it'll be. Because, you know, that was a huge, huge perfect. part of his story. That's perfect. Huh? That's perfect yeah. for Jamie Lannister. Yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I didn't maybe, think maybe that. that's because that's all everyone ever talked about with him, him getting him stabbing him in the back. So someone's going to stab yeah. him in the back. Yeah, it could happen. I can see that happening. Jamie Lannister getting stabbed what, in the back. What if what if the mountain? What if the mountain burns? Um, what if uh, uh, the hound burns the mountain like that? The mountain burned the hound. I hope so, man. I love the the hound. I love the hound. Yeah. His his comp, yo, everything he says makes me laugh. I, I love the hound is one of my favorite characters, and he always wasn't, but he, he he turned into one of my favorite characters, man. I love the hound. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, and that little that little uh, weird that little weird relationship him and Arya have now. I, I, I like mm-hmm. that. You know, she like. Hates him, but he kind of hates her too. But he loves her at the same time. But she kind of loves him too. Yeah. Like it's weird. Yeah. It's like a little love hate, yeah. a love hate yeah. relationship they got. And I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was great. But you know, online it like Arya in the beginning of the trailers for it, that she's seen. Hold on, was that Arya is going to face the Night King? Arya. Yeah. If he comes down in the crypt, maybe. No, no, no. I've seen that, too. I've seen that, too. The trailer opens with Arya looking absolutely terrified, holding a dragon glass dagger and running from danger. That means she's definitely facing the Night King's army, but could it be the Night King himself? Oh, man. Hmm. I don't... Dude. Did you see the... Did you see the preview where where Jon Snow's, like, making a beeline towards somebody? Yeah. He's, like, running at somebody? So I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to happen. And I can't she, wait. She does talk with some bravado about facing what sounds like the Night King. I know death. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. We'll see. So mm. I think she's going to fight the Night King. I hope not. She's no match for the Night King. No. Oh, God. This is but so bad. Her, no, My nerves are so bad. something to do with killing him. I think Jon Snow's going to have to kill him. Yeah, but I think her weapon is going to be key to killing the Night King. The one Gendry just made her. Maybe a White Walker, but not the Night King. I don't see it. You don't we'll think see, so? We'll see. Yeah. No. No. Hell no. Hell no. Yo, I hope Gendry and Arya get married. Let's join our houses like mm-hmm. Robert Baratheon always wanted. I hope so. If you live. I think she got turned on when he said I was, I'm Robert Baratheon. I think she was like, what? Oh, uh, no, no. Yes. She was all for it. She got excited when she seen that. Yo, let's not forget about the Red Woman. The Red Woman still has to show back up. She's still going to show back up. Mm-hmm. That's, what I, that's what I think. I mean, I might be wrong, but I think she's still going to show back up. No, and well, only, she, said it. she said it. Yeah, only to fight the Night King, she but it's not about... Die. Well, John still told her if she ever comes back to the north, he's going to kill her. So we'll see. Mm. We'll see. Not if he's dead first, dummy. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I hope not. <laughs> so what do you guys got? So what do you guys think is going to happen next week? So you think a lot of, I think we lose a lot of characters next week. That's what I think. What do you guys think? I agree. I think all I agree, of the yeah. Thraki and the Sullys are going to die. <laughs> I think that's going to Jamie and uh, Brian sitting on the front line. That don't look good for them. 
Um, but I don't think Jamie's going to die because I think he has to stay around to kill Thirsty. Um, uh-huh. I don't think Brian's dying. I th- I think it's going to be Brian that's going to die. If not, then he's going to have a whole horde of Gustaraki to fight on his side when he raises them up and take them with him. He's going to have a whole horde of people from the crypts. <laughs> Yo, that's what I keep thinking. That's that's I, think that's crypts, that's I think he's going to raise the crypts, man. I think he's going to raise the crypts. And that's where everybody's hiding. All the people, that, the women and children, they're hiding in the crypts. I think he's going to raise the crypts. Because they didn't burn those bodies. Yeah. Well, they're, just, they're bones, but they're still gonna, they can still kill you, yeah. you know? You bring back Ned yeah. Stars. They got to like, sacrifice that baby. They got to sacrifice little Sam. Sam's baby. Sam. <laughs> Yeah, that could happen, man. Oh, God, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I wish this was like Netflix where you can just watch the whole thing. <laughs> the, the anticipation for this is just, ah, uh, killing me. It's stressful. I, so what what, um, what podcast are you guys listening to or YouTube channels do you listen to to gather your uh, information? Oh, you're always listening to all kinds of YouTube All right, I'll give you one and you give me one, okay? The I always listen one. to it. It would be awesome. Listen. I listen okay, to Talking Thrones. I do talk I listen to, to I listen to Preston Jacob. You know that one? Mm-mm. Jacob is funny as hell. Preston Jacobs. And then Red Team Review. Uh-huh. All right. What about you? Who do you listen to? I'm talking I just listen to Talking Thrones. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I listen to Talking Thrones. I love, okay, so I like In Deep Geek. In Deep Geek? Yeah. In Deep Geek. He's on YouTube, and he gives very, very in-depth um, analysis. I think he does. Of, yeah, he has a British accent, talks very slow, um, but he gives a lot of great info. No, no, you're not. Nah, I'm not. You know what? Subscribe to him right now. I'm going to watch him. Uh, all right, cool. I'll check that out. Chate, do you watch anybody on YouTube? Um, Yeah, uh, I do the Talking Thrones. Um, there's a, a, another one, but I can't remember who it is. Um, But, like, I don't, like, follow anyone in particular. Mm-hmm. I love, I love Talking Thrones. I, I, I love, I love Talking Thrones. I love Talking Thrones. Um, I'm going to check that uh, in Deep Geek. Um, I'm going to definitely check. You guys should definitely check out Preston Jacobs, yo. Preston Jacobs. He is funny as hell. Funny as hell. And and um, Red Team Review. Red Team Review. He is... I see, yeah, I've seen, I've seen that awesome. one before, too. Awesome. I think you told me about that one. Awesome. But one of my, like I said, Emergency Awesome is probably my uh, favorite channel on YouTube, period, hands down. He does everything I'm, I'm into. He does Game of Thrones. He does Avengers. He does uh, Walking Dead. He does everything. I, I, it's like, he's like me. <laughs> I love him. I love him. But, um any, anything else you guys want to get off your chest that you guys are thinking? Because uh, I got to go to GameStop. We got another show. Okay. And I got to do my football show. Um, oh, I'm all good. Thank you for having me. I think I'm good. No, thank you for coming. Let's do it again thank, next week. Yeah, let's do another one next week. This, let's make this, this a is, thing. This is the last Game of Thrones season. So. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Or, or like you said, I can come over there. You know, we can do it over there or whatever. However oh, you want yeah. to do it. You can definitely yeah. do that too. Yep. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank you. More episodes. Right. Thank All you guys right. for calling. I can't Thank wait. You. I, you know what? At this point, I don't know who's going to end up on the throne. Honestly, I don't. I don't know who's going to end up on the throne. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm just embarrassed that I said Daenerys because I just, I just don't like her anymore. I, 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 I like her. I, just, I, don't like her for, I like her, though. I just don't like her for the throne. She's not a good leader. Yeah. I hate her. I want status. I don't hate her, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll raise him from the dead. <laughs> all right, Shante. Thank you for calling, dude. All uh, right. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.
All right, bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's another episode of Barbershop Talk Radio. Game of Thrones version. He dropped. He called it. He dropped no, no, no. It. Go ahead. Ah, yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones version. Tune in next Monday for next Monday season eight, episode three recap. Episode three recap, and then we're gonna. Um, we might throw some other stuff in between there, but I can't fucking wait. We'll do Game of Thrones until it ends and football, and then we'll, we'll add some other stuff in as we come across it. So we gotta have with this. What's that one?